Danny Line and back with another video. Today we are checking out the Porsche 911 GT2 RS Club Sport 991. We're going to do a stage 5 shift and tune, a stage 6 max shift and tune. We'll do a review on the car. We'll see if we can find a live racing setup and all that good stuff. If you enjoy this content, hit that like button and subscribe. And huge thank you to YouTuber Nitro for CSR. Check him out on YouTube. This video is brought to you by him today. There's a link to his channel in this video's description. When the car is 100% maxed out, nitrous all the way to the right, final drive 2.01, tire pressure on 8 PSI, and that is going to give us a dyno time of a 7.635, 7.635 on the dyno. To drive this car, we are going to try to get a perfect start right after it launches, second, third nitrous, all right? All the rest of the shifts right before the red line, and that'll do it to it. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous. Fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh gear, and that's all she wrote. And she tops out on the top speed right before she crosses the finish line. And then we got a 7.647. The last run was a 7.637. So I'm getting 7.63, 7.64s running it like this, which is a pretty darn good time. There is another version of this car that is a little bit faster. It has purple stars, but this is the new golden star version. We are going to fit this one back to stage five parts, and then we'll go shift it and show you how to drive it and tune it and all that good stuff. So here's the tune for stage five with all the fusion parts installed and all that good stuff. You can go ahead and keep the nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive 2.0 and tire pressure is still on 8 PSI. That will give us a dyno time of a 9.495, 9.495. I tried a lot of different shift patterns and it looks like we're gonna drive it the same way right after you launch second, third nitrous and then all the shifts right before the red line. So drives the same way on stage five and stage six as far as I can tell. Here we go, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, nitrous. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. Sixth gear. And I did try moving the transmission slider further to the right so it would accelerate faster and hit the higher gears, but that just actually slowed it down. There we got a 9.468, so I am hitting 9.4s with that setup, which isn't too bad. I did find a really nice low performance point high EVO tune live racing setup for this car. Generally, this type of tune will let the car win live races without beating Dino. That way it does not get pushed into the faster and faster lobbies. It'll always stay in the lobby. So let's get to that tune. So we are going to put the nitrous on stage five, body on stage three, tires on stage three, transmission on stage four, all the other parts fitted back to stock. So you only need to upgrade those four parts. All the other parts are stock. To tune this car, move your nitrous all the way over to the right. Final drive 2.85. You can move it further to the right to get into the 6.5 lobby, but this puts us into 6.4. And I'll explain that in just a minute. And then we got our, our tires on 8 PSI with a dyno time of a 6.596, which will get us right in the, I'm sorry, the 11.6 lobby. I don't know what I just said a second ago. We are in the 11.6 lobby. You can make it run 11.5 something though. Now, generally, these lobbies run every two tenths of a second. So there's an 11.4 lobby, and then the next lobby is 11.6. So we want to be right at the bottom or the top, whatever you want to call it, of that lobby at the fastest time. So we want to run 11.6 better than 11.5s, because if we're running 11.5s, we'll probably be in the 11.4 lobby. If we're running 11.6s, we'll probably be in the 11.6 lobby, if that makes any sense. But anyways, we are just going to go ahead and, you know, try and get a perfect start. Early shift in the second, nitrous on second, and all good shifts right before the red line. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous. And this should win the majority of the live races, right? It'll beat the dyno time by a little bit. It will run just a little bit, a little bit slower. We'll hit almost 11.6. And it's a really, it should do pretty good. It should do very nice at live racing. The last run was 11.604. That was 11.680, so if you get your shifts and your launch just perfect, you can basically run right around 11.6, which should give you a pretty nice place to be in the live racing lobby. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little review on this car. So when the car is maxed out, it's doing 0 to 60 in like 1.3, 0 to 100 in 1.7, and you can always tune that to be a little bit faster. 
The top speed is around 442 miles per hour, which is pretty crazy. The car can beat dyno by a little bit. It's not a huge dyno beater. You might be able to do some sort of tweaking on the tune to make it beat dyno by a little bit more, but it's not a huge dyno beater naturally. It's running around a 7.6 on the quarter mile. I should say the half mile, I'm sorry. So it's a pretty fast car. It's got a decent live racing setup or what should be 90% of the time, not always, but 90% of the time those low performance point high Evo tunes work really good in live racing as long as you set it up correctly and you're not beating the dyno or running faster than the lobby time. Some people don't set them up correctly or run them incorrectly and then those setups don't work. So you can't run faster than the dyno. When you're winning live races, when running faster than the dyno, the game takes your car and moves it. You don't want that to happen. That's why we set it up like this. These type of live racing setups will keep it in the same live racing lobby so you're not getting pushed into lobbies where you can't win anymore. So pretty much everything about the car is pretty nice. I mean, it's got a, it's got what should be a decent live racing setup. It's fast. It's got decent top speed, decent acceleration. This is an all around pretty nice car. So if you already don't have a good tier five car, this one may be worth upgrading. There is a event coming up for this at the time that I'm recording this video. So if you need to do the event, hey, this car is kind of cool. I like it. It's not the world's best car, but it is a very nice car in my opinion. All right, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching the videos. Thank you to my channel members. You guys are amazing. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the thank you button and the join button down below the video. Drop down the video's description for some ways to help support the channel. There's a Discord link, my other YouTube channels, and all kinds of good stuff down there. I really appreciate everybody watching. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support. You guys are amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the little bell. Set those notifications to all. Share this with your friends. All that good stuff. And we will catch you next time. All right? Lightning out. Have an amazing day. See ya. Wait. Before we go, don't forget to check out the Danny Lightning merch store to get yourself some cool Danny Lightning merch gear stuff. But yeah, the green screen, that's a nice yellow lightning bolt. But the green screen turns it into some sort of fuzzy black and white piece of junk. But we got hooded sweatshirts, we got t-shirts, we got yoga pants for your ladies. Uh, we got all kinds of junk. So drop down the video's description or you can usually find the merch store right below the videos. And all that good stuff, Danny Light merch cool stuff right i think so you might not i don't know but i think so <laughs> thank you and have an amazing day check out one of these videos that are about to pop up on the screen